Hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another second stimulus check and second stimulus package unemployment benefits extension update and happy new year. As crazy as it is, as we have officially survived to the end of this year. Although granted, I think that this video is probably going to be pretty applicable for probably the next at least few weeks only because in today's video we are going to be now visiting and talking about the $300 unemployment benefits extension all of the different programs like the PUA PUC because I did promise you guys to make a video about this and I do know that there were a lot of questions because most of you guys thankfully have officially received your $600 well not most but certainly a some of you guys have officially received your $600 stimulus checks maybe comment down below whether or not you have currently received it but with that being said we are still now however waiting for the $300 unemployment so that's what we're going to be exploring in today's video we're going to be talking all about the programs about PUA PUC all of the different terms when we're going to get it the arrival dates or certainly the arrival date estimates um, how many weeks it's going for and all of the information that I think is probably important right now to at least as to know as we transition into the brand new year or if you guys are already watching in the brand new year welcome because I think it is still applicable. So we're going to get started right away, but before we begin, make sure you smash the like button in light of this great news that we finally have unemployment and stimulus checks approved. Maybe we'll hopefully get even more next year, but at least we'll have something to kind of enter into the new year within our pockets. So smash the like button in the light of this great news. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button. Feel free to check out some other videos that I made talking about unemployment and stimulus checks, the 600 and the 2000 and the general PUA and all the other different programs. Programs. and feel free to comment any questions thoughts about really anything at any time even if you guys wanted to say hello it's always great to see familiar faces so with that being said let's get this video started Now, when it comes to all of the different unemployment programs, I did make one video about a month ago where I talked about all of the different terminologies. So if by any chance, especially if you are someone that recently joined the unemployment workforce, because I mean, after all this, this time period, I'm pretty sure about like 1 million people join the community of unemployed people every single week. If you guys have any questions about any ter of the terminologies or you guys need a refresher of some kind, check out a previous video that I made. It's called How to Get 59 Weeks of Unemployment. I'll put it at the very, very end screen at the end of this video if you guys watch through and also in the description, um, which is probably the easier way to find it because it talks about all of the different programs like the PUA, PUC, Fed Ed, EB, LWA, FEMA, FPUC, like basically all what the different acronyms mean, the different programs, Programs, hopefully in much more simple terms the numbers have obviously changed because we are getting an even greater extension which is the really really great news but the acronyms what they stand for and how the program works is literally exactly the same this is just really about the newer extension of it so definitely check that out if you guys are interested so now, as most of you guys know is, is that the PUA and the PUC have both now officially been extended for 11 weeks. I'm going to use this, which comes directly from the New York State Unemployment website right here. Now, granted, only because I know the majority of you guys are from New York, including me, but also even if you guys are not from New York, a lot of this information is still very, very similar. It's just kind of a couple of the dates, but we'll talk about like what is the same, what maybe is different, but I think it should hopefully still be insightful regardless of whatever state you're in. So the general idea is that originally because Donald Trump signed it a little bit late, specifically just one week late, because remember he held a delay, they were originally going to do it for 10 weeks because we were originally going to lose a week. But now, thankfully, a lot of states have actually come through and they are now going back and promising now to do it retro, semi-retro, because it's really only retro for one week. But they're going to be doing it for 11 weeks in total, starting around the first week of January until the middle of March. So both the PUA and the PUC are now extended for 11 total weeks. Now in terms of being able to transition, most of these programs, the PUA and the PUC, they're going to be automatic. So that is the really, really great news. There are a couple of people that might have to fill out something. Like I know, for example, specifically in New York, I believe that for people on the PUA, there is supposedly going to be a form that you guys have to complete starting on January 31st, 2020. But 
but at this current time, you guys should probably just hang tight and wait it through because those forms, what, what you would have to do, even in other states, they wouldn't actually physically release that particular form or allow you to physically do that particular something until they actually physically open it up. So at this time, I think the great news is, is I would just hang tight and hold it until then. Likely by then, if there was something that you had to do, they're likely going to either email you or they're going to send you a physical letter letting you know what to specifically do. But again, you wouldn't actually be able to do it until then anyway, so I'd really just be able to just sit back, relax. Hopefully it becomes the smoother option where you don't actually have to even do anything and it goes automatic. But if there was something, they would let you know. Now with the PEUC, the PEUC is also going to be extended for 11 weeks. Now, when it comes to people on the Fed Ed or the EB program, the Fed Ed and EB program, the way it's going to work is, is that they're gonna run through the EB and the Fed Ed program first, and then when you guys run out of dates, they will automatically transition you on to the PEUC. But do keep in mind is, is that the PEUC actually ends on March 14th, regardless of where you stand. So what that basically means is that if you have enough EB slash Fed at dates to take you, let's say you're on that program until March 1st, right? And then you guys transition onto the PUC, even though the PUC is 11 weeks, your PUC would still end on March 14th because that's really the cutoff date, regardless of how many weeks of PUC you have left. And that goes on to another point is, is that the PUC and the PUA officially ended at the very, very end of this year, regardless regardless of how many weeks you had left. So it was another great question, which is about like whether the weeks stack. Regardless of how many weeks you had left of the PUA or the PUC, so if you just got onto it, let's say like the third week of December, and say you had supposedly 13 weeks ahead, the idea is at the end of this year, they're going to basically cleanse it and start every single person on a brand new clean slate and then give you guys 11 weeks. And that's when we're gonna take it until the middle of March. The one thing though is with the exception if they manage to extend it in the third stimulus package, which is what we're gonna talk about in future videos, so definitely subscribe for more because there is a third stimulus package that's kind of just being talked on very briefly on the side right now that may come up next year or this year if you guys are already watching then that may even extend it further to March beyond March 14th in the middle of March but that's probably something for another day. Now the FPUC which is basically now the booster program that's the program that's going to give every single person an extra $300 available to every single person on unemployment, regardless of the program. So whether you are on traditional unemployment, PUA unemployment, PUC unemployment, EB unemployment, Fed and unemployment, basically every single unemployment, also regardless of the amount you're collecting. So whether you are collecting $1 on unemployment or $600 on unemployment, you would get the extra $300 boost. And I know there was a question about whether or not there was would be a qualification like the like with the LWA FEMA program according to what I've basically read so far um, there hasn't been any mention of that so I believe right now the idea is is that every single person would get the $300 unemployment regardless of program and regardless of state amount whether it's one dollar or ten thousand dollars of unemployment I think it'd be kind of crazy but yeah now, when it comes to the start dates about when this program is going to start, it actually really varies on state to state. Most states, though, I believe, and actually surprisingly, actually, I know New York State, which a lot of people, a lot of us are from New York. New York, actually, great thing is, is that it's actually one of the first states that's going to start to do it. They're actually one of the first states to release a whole bunch of, like, information about the unemployment, which is also the reason why I'm using their site as kind of an official source because it's directly from them. Most of the states, they're going to start to roll out the deposits by the very very end of next week however there may be a couple states that may experience some delays similar to like with the LWA and FEMA I do believe though the overwhelming majority of them will probably come by the very very end of the first to second week of January so that is the really really great news about it but even if your state went through some kind of delay all of them are going to be starting to count the dates from the very very end of December slash beginning of January. So the total amount is gonna end up the same regardless, which is another difference from the LWA and FEMA since I know with LWA, some states did two weeks, four weeks, five, six, two, three, four, five, six weeks, and some did three, four hundred. With this program, thankfully, because it is federal, every single person is going to get the same exact amount of the FPUC boost.
But that's what I really wanted to cover in today's update video. So hopefully you guys found something insightful about that and had most questions answered. Um, if you guys are still confused about any terminology, I definitely recommend checking that video at the end screen and in the description called 59 Weeks that explains what all of these different symbols and acronyms mean. Also, real fast, really just wanted to say a very huge thank you to every single person who's been supporting this channel um, over basically either the last couple of weeks, months, or even days, or even if you guys are brand new here, it's always happy to have brand new people uh, but just really wanted to express a very huge thank you to every single person who comes by especially if it's every single day but even if it's just an occasion kind of once in a while thing because I think that I, and I always say this is that when it comes to anything like YouTube blogs social media anything like that I think it really is the people and the community that really brings it to life and really makes it what it is. And I think that it's even more true because I think most of us can feel that this probably has been a relatively difficult or certainly a year with a lot of different setbacks and wild events. And I always say is that, I mean, certainly one thing for sure is most of us have probably gone through unemployment at some phase in this life, in, in this year. And I think the general idea is, as difficult as it is sometimes to struggle, it's a lot more relieving when you're at least able to struggle with other people and find other people that hopefully can also relate in the same exact situation. And when you see like millions of people going through it, I think the most relieving thing is to at least know is, is that we're together and that we have other people with us. And I think it's even more true when people exchange and collaborate and really really you know share different information especially as we've mentioned is that it's always more official when you hear from people actually in a particular location and what the news outlets report of the place i think we're all really able to kind of at the end of the day really win and flourish together when we're able to share information so just really want to express a huge thank you to every single person who's been supporting this channel for however long it has been, days, weeks, months, or even recently brand new people here. Um, but hopefully this gave you guys a general idea about the arrival dates, the qualifications, the programs, the answer to most different, um, most of the common questions. If you guys have any other further questions, feel free to consider maybe just commenting down below or honestly just really any thoughts at all. Um, but with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Remember to smash the like button if you guys enjoyed that. Um, feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about anything, subscribe for more future updates especially with lots of news likely to roll out soon especially if we actually end up getting a third stimulus package and with that being said thank you guys so much for watching stay safe stay well and happy new year thank you guys so much for watching and hope to see you guys next time or next year or this year if you guys are already here thank you guys again